How was I so stupid? It's my job to figure these types of people out. I'm sorry. I wasn't sure anyone would still be here. Uh, I was just leaving. Is there anyone you're looking for in particular? A husband or boyfriend, perhaps? No. But I have a feeling you're just the person I'm looking for. The sign says private detective? Yes, ma'am. Uh, detective Rao, Johnny Rao. And you are? Chlorofume. Would you like to take a seat? Thank you. So, what is it I can help you with then, uh, Mrs. Pugh? Actually, my husband's the reason I'm here. Let me guess. You want me to find out uh, evidence of whether your husband's having an affair? No. I want you to get evidence that he killed his mother. I should explain. His mother was murdered. She was a very rich woman, so people will profit from her death. Namely, Eugene Fume and my husband, Howard Fume, so in turn me. Since her death, my husband's been closing me off. I thought he was just grieving, but he's seen his brother almost every day since. I have a feeling there's something to do with the murder, and... Thank you. I think they may be trying to set me up. You've come to the right place, Mrs. Fume. Clara. Uh, I'll do some research tonight. I'll let you know when we meet up tomorrow. And if I need to contact you? Here's my details. Just go home and get some rest. Thank you, Private Detective. Johnny. Johnny. I'll let you know when to meet up tomorrow, Mrs. Pugh. Clara. Clara. Well, it's been a lovely evening as usual, but I think it's home time now. I'll call you tomorrow, Howard. Of course, well... Let me walk you up. Clara, what are you doing here? Come in. I'm sorry. I know you told me to go home and relax, but... You live here alone? Yes. We've got a witness. You do? Who? Some elderly lady. She walks a dark around the park same time every night. It was easy. We're bringing her in for a statement now. I'm going to take it myself. I'll make sure there's uh, no question as to who it is. In fact, we're even bringing in Howard now. Oh, Johnny. Thank you so much. Do you mind if I come with you? You know, to see if everything runs smoothly. I'd like to get closure. Of course. You can ride with me.
You got your closure? Not yet. Can I have one last moment with him? In private? Sure. I can only give you five minutes. That's fine. I'll be quick. What's going on, Clara? I thought we were in this together. Oh, please, Howard. Don't be so ridiculous. We planned this together. Look where you are. I needed you to get the money, and Eugene's comes next. Where is he? Johnny? As if I was that stupid. All it took was a flood of your eyes. Looks like Howard wasn't the only one that was used. Johnny, what are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. What's to stop me from turning you in right now? I wish it wasn't about the money, Johnny. But it is. You need money to be free. You don't have anything to be free from. It's Eugene. He pushes me about. Howard knows, but he turns a blind eye. I'm sorry, Johnny. I wanted to tell you, but I was scared you'd do something stupid to protect me. Don't you trust me, Johnny? This way we can be together. Was it not enough convincing Howard to agree to his own mother's murder? You had to take the money for yourself. I knew you would do this. That's why I convinced him that we had to take you out. But with him behind bars, it looks like it's down to me now. Johnny! Johnny! He's dead. I could have never imagined this working out so perfectly. Wait. It was you. All along. You could say that. He's never even laid a finger on you, has he? It was the first time he stood close enough to touch me. Let alone push me around. Uh, and their mother? You killed her. It's not hard pretending to be a man, you know. Now, I'm a part of it. You sure are. You never even intended for us to be together. Now I'm here, looking for some sort of answer at the bottom of a bottle, and failing. 